All right, I got a little bass on. Not a bad one. All right, decent sized bass. So today is the shakedown cruise for the Warrior one-man boat. First thing is to get it to the to the pond, and I'm going to try to use my wilderness cart for that. I don't think it'll be a problem. So. Let's see if we can slide this thing on and get it strapped down. Should work just like with the kayak. This boat has a flat bottom, unlike the, uh, the kayak, but uh, we'll see. holding it up oh caught around here I think this boat is about to as heavy as uh, as the kayak on the cart let me strap it down and then we'll uh we'll get down to the fishing hole. fairly easy to push got on the wilderness cart no problem Seems to be about the same level of energy needed to get the kayak back here, so that's good. All right, let me get it unstrapped and slip it in the water. You can see I don't have a real good place to mount my camera as of yet. Um, I am getting a ram mount to, to be able to do that. So at any rate, this is what we got for today. So there may be some odd angles on the fishing part of it. But that's not the main purpose of this trip anyway, is check this boat out mostly. So uh, let's get it in the water and get going. All right, I'm out here. Everything seems to seems to be working. Uh, definitely got a squeak in the cables here. Need to put some grease or something on it. So, anyway, this thing will cruise pretty fast. All right, let's get fishing. All right, it's, uh, my weather app shows it's about 55, 56 degrees, something like that. And uh, it's about 7.30. I got a late start this morning. Anyway, uh, the fishing app says uh, it's uh, supposed to be pretty good over the next couple hours. So we'll see. Again, I'll be the judge of that. So anyway, let's do it. 
Since I got here a little late, uh, I'm not going to start with top water. I'm going to start with a twitch bait that I had good luck on last weekend. A little inch and a half uh, Euro tackle twitch bait. So let's see what happens. All right. Got the first fish on. Feels like a big old brim. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh. Oh well. All right, folks. It's taking some time to get used to this boat. It looks like a. Well, uh, looks like I hung a goggle eye. It's got some size to it. That's the biggest goggle eye I've ever caught out of here. He's pretty good size. Anyway, all right, getting used to the boat. It squeaks. You can hear that whenever I do the turning. I'm going to have to do something about that. Anyway, first one I got to the boat. All right. A little old bass on. Maybe I'm starting to get the hang of this boat. Oh. All right, got him. Oh, he threw it. Oh, well. All right, I got him. Little bass on. Huh? Not a bad one. All right. Decent sized bass. Got another little old bass on. Huh? Hit it right at the boat. Pretty small. We'll probably turn him loose. Got another bass on. I'm gonna back out here a little bit. Still using the twitch bait. Anyway, decent sized little old bass. Got another little old bass on. Wish we'd get into some brim, but uh, maybe they'll start hitting here in a bit. Well, the bass are hitting anyway. Still using a little old twitch bait. I may switch off to a crankbait here in a minute. Well, the bass are definitely hitting. See a little old twitch bait I'm using. I believe that one's a Rapala, not a not a Euro tackle. Alrighty. Got another one on. Like a decent little bass. Sure wish the brand would hit. Bass are pretty good eating though. No? 
another bass on on the twitch bait. I need to back out of here. Like I told y'all before, I've been asked to take these bass out there. Uh, they're overpopulated in here. So uh, I'm about getting enough for a fish fry. The live well on the on the new boat's working out well. I probably got five or six enough for me and the wife to, for dinner. Uh, this boat is uh, there's a learning curve. It uh, sits a little bit lower in the seat than the kayak does. Um, getting used to the controls. I think it's gonna work well out on black water. I'll probably use the kayak more in here. Anyway, we'll see. Pretty happy with it though, so far. All right, feels like a pretty good fish. It's a bass, I think. Get back out of here. I'm gonna fish a few more minutes and then uh, call it a day. Mainly wanted to test out the boat today. Uh, getting a few fish for uh, for lunch is a bonus. Uh, this lake is slap full of overpopulated with these bass. So uh, I've been asked to uh, to keep them. I got another bass on. Yep. Yeah. This lake is just loaded with these things. Need to thin them down so we can get some size going on them. Too many of them in here. Another chunky bass. Let me back out of here. I think I'm fixing to call it a day. It's starting to get hot out here. Got plenty, plenty of fish for lunch. And I do eat bass. And we are taking some out of here because it's overpopulated. Uh, some folks have made some comments on my site about eating bass. I've been eating bass all my life, and I'm going to continue to do it. And we need to take some of these out of here. And so, uh, um, well, that's what I'm going to do. All right, folks, had a good morning of fishing. Um, main deal was to check out this warrior one-man boat and uh, it has performed good. Uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, just like anything else, but uh, I think I'm gonna like it. And uh, one thing I definitely like about it is I just checked the battery, and after fishing since 7.30 this morning and you know using it quite a bit, it's still 96% charged, so uh, um, looks like I'm going to be able to, you know, um, head out across uh, behind my house to uh, Yellow River and, and uh, do a morning's fishing uh, and have plenty of, uh, plenty of juice. 
left. So uh, that's a good deal. Anyway, got enough fish for um, for supper. And uh, again, the reason I'm keeping these bass is because uh, it's overpopulated in here. And uh, on top of that, uh, like I said, I've been eating bass all my life. I'm gonna continue to do it. So I don't know when it became unfashionable to uh, eat bass, um, but uh, they're good to eat and uh, I'm gonna continue to do it. Anyway, y'all have a good one. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate your support. Hootie hoo.